You know you're out front when people are kicking you in the behind. When you're watching a race, you're not typically watching the people in the back. You see, you're watching the ones out front. People pay attention to people who are up front and leading the pack. Now, it's easy for us to get discouraged as leaders. I found that many years ago, the more successful that you become, the more criticism that you're going to get. It gets tough when somebody seems to be attacking you with criticism and complaints and negativity. Matter of fact, when I think of this, I think of Moses. You know, here's a stuttering murderer who walked by a burning bush and started freaking out when it talked to him. Now, not what most people picture in their mind when they think leader. God then told Moses that he would lead the Israelites out of Egypt. There were plagues, disasters, an army chasing after them. Not the easiest trip in the world. Once out, though, Moses had to put up with a million people who were whining, complaining, and criticizing and second-guessing him at every turn for 40 years. Moses' example shows us that we'll have criticism in this world. It's not important that you have critics. It's important how you handle them. As a leader, whether it be in business, in the community, or even in your own household, you're going to have to deal with people who say harsh things. The only way to avoid this is to say nothing, be nothing, do nothing, and stand for nothing. To be able to handle it, you really have to do four things. Number one is know yourself. Now, often when we're being criticized, it's more about our position and not about us as people. You see, you have to be able to separate the two. Until you know who you are, your values, your strengths, and your weaknesses, it's impossible to be able to separate the two. You see, everybody has weaknesses. The question is not, do you have a weakness? It's only, what are you going to do with it? Number two is change yourself. When someone says something about me that's accurate, no matter how hurtful it is, it's my responsibility to do something about it. You see, I have to make positive change in my life, and I have to know a couple of things. Number one is who criticized me. The source of criticism matters. How was it given? You know, were they being hurtful or were they being kind? And why was it given? Because hurting people hurt people. I also have to look for a truth in that criticism to know if there are any weak points that I need to work on. Number three is accept yourself. And one thing I've noticed is that first people will tell you you're wrong. Then they're going to tell you that you're right and what you're doing really isn't important. Finally, they're going to tell you that you're right and what you're doing is important, but they knew it all along. Leo Buscaglia said, The easiest thing to be in the world is you. The most difficult thing to be is what other people want you to be. Don't let them put you in that position. So you have to be the best you that you can be. Nothing more, nothing less. Number four is forget yourself. In other words, stop focusing on you. Criticism, negativity, and troubles that come your way are not always about you. Sometimes it's just there to distract you from your God-given purpose. Some people forget about themselves so that they can focus on others. Years ago, I spent so much time trying to defend myself that I wasn't getting the important things done. Matter of fact, if we give our best, sometimes we're going to take hits from others. That's the price of being out front and carrying out a plan.